dear all in this video i'm going to discuss about h1 2023 releases okay so i'm just going to discuss so uh, only on the time tracking in this video so probably in the future you can expect the multiple videos on uh, the platform reporting and the future for many modules and uh, we have the something called uh, employee central and uh, employee central payroll okay so best of my knowledge i will explain as of now uh, still demo instance uh, not updated with the uh, h1 2023 but however th the customer preview instance got updated okay uh, let me go and discuss about the time tracking and before going to discuss about in details so uh, some of the consultant who are uh, interested to work on success factor they are questioning with mr guraj uh, whether they do have a uh, recent videos or the old videos okay to be honest i'm working since the uh, last nine years so whatever i learned in the nine years still i'm following the same step okay so however sap come up with the additional features okay these are all very minor and important sometimes and uh, some of the things are optional it's uh, specific to customer requirement and based on the scenarios okay so which i'm going to discuss on time tracking you will understand whether you need the latest uh, videos to learn the content or it's an just additional features okay so if i start on uh, time tracking so in this releases we have the 10 features on the time tracking okay so let me explain one by one so first one is automatic timesheet submission for the world time records okay so as of now uh, in the time profile we have the something called uh, time recording uh, method okay so if you see in the in this screen so in the time recording profile so here we have the time recording uh, variant if i want i can zoom it and show it so here we have the time recording variant over time so here if you watch my video so we have the four methods one is positive negative over time and only absence okay so this feature support only when you are activated or if you are using the over time okay so this should be the mandatory so once you set up as an over time so then sap has come up with the additional business rule i probably uh, the rule also would be the standard scenario based you can uh, get it as a timesheet submission so as for your requirement you can put the logic okay and that rule should be assigned inside the time recording profile okay so when you come to here the time recording uh, profile okay uh, so here we have the time recording submission configuration okay so before that there is another uh, uh, in managed data there is an object time recording submission configuration so you have to configure that okay probably you can create a different uh, uh, submission for based on your different prime profile so you can create that uh, business rule then you assign to the time recording submission configuration create that one that's a uh, time recording submission configuration we should use it inside the time recording profile okay but however in the time recording profile the time recording method should be the over time then only it works okay so if you come to a uh, little bit bottom so you can see that time tracking uh, time management time sheet this is the customer configuration enhancement okay it's left to customer whether they want to use it or not okay so for this it's not a mandatory you should learn the latest videos if you know the time sheet okay so just a plugin okay so you can automatically understand and you can based on your customer requirement you can use it okay next the behavior changes for the single uh, record approval in the timesheet okay so this is also an uh, announcement okay so if you go to the bottom okay uh, this announcement is for everyone automatically okay if you see the enablement it's an automatically on okay so we should follow the sap standard so we don't have any admin opt-in or opt-out this is an universal upgrade okay what it does is we have the improvement the usability of the single record approval feature on the web-based timesheet this change simplifies the record approval process employee recording the time that requires an external approver okay so no longer needed to worry about the submission instead the submission is done automatically when the record is saved 
okay okay so there are the two steps uh, okay the saving that uh, benefits okay saving the time recording and the submitting the time recording simply becomes one so once the record is saved the approvers the find the workflow request in their inbox the employee see also see the workflow status in the timesheet the changes in the process is not one only the smoother but also align with the way absence are handled in the time management solution that one information button on the timesheet ui okay uh, probably if you want to give any information on timesheet okay now it is possible so sap has added one and another uh, field in the time recording profile so if you see in the time recording profile so here we have the instruct uh, instructional text for the timesheet okay so whatever the information you are typing so that is visible under the timesheet okay so here we can see that information so those information we can see it inside the timesheet so now you can question it whether you want to know the uh, complete uh, latest video or we can just use a plugin okay so just you can remember so system automatically added the field if it is not active enable it you can go to the object you can enable it i think by default it will be available okay or you can configure as per your requirement you can see the customer requirement so i cannot show in the demo instance as i already mentioned uh, still a uh, demo instance are not got updated okay so it's anyway it's a minor only so just uh, uh, if you hear it or if you just uh, read it somewhere that should be fine so next one is the the minimum break duration so again the customer uh, for the requirement as for requirement we can configure it so when you go to the uh, dynamic break configuration now sap has introduced another field that is called a minimum the break duration in minutes okay so in case the customer or as for the policy they have they have to take the minimum some minutes then we can put it that initially if you see that initially it was not there again uh, this is an uh, configurable or customer configured as for the customer requirement if you want you can update the minimum minutes or leave it okay and if you then give the scenario under so just if you want to understand in details you can uh, by, by reading the heading itself you'll understand so if you want to maintain the minimum duration for the break then that we can do it okay so next one is the arrest tools so rest tool is applicable for some of the countries okay it means that employee has to take some hours of rest okay as for the country policy rules and legislative or whatever it could be the reason so if you want to achieve that one uh yes from this releases it is possible for that you need to do some of the configuration if you watch my videos i was telling that for some of the scenarios so we have to use the multiple valuation types okay so here that give the configuration requirements see first we need to create some aggregate input group split okay something you need to go find it then again you have to use another method to detect group from the input groups again we'll the system it will uh, now find the something output so that output you should be used inside the filter single records from input groups okay so you want to understand all these things first you should have the understanding about this uh, uh, valuation types or method we have eight methods or types that you should have understand okay so if you want to know uh, something scenario based and all the sap has clearly mentioned that you can now the setup rest tool for employees the rest tool ensure that employee takes a sufficient rest between shifts okay let's say you want to make sure that employee rest at least 11 hours between the shift therefore you set up the rest tool that determines the minimum rest period of 11 hours now and employ the clock in at 11 sorry 10 pm and the previous day and the clock in out to 6 0 4 am the next day the employee the clock back in in at 2 pm for the same day clocked out there is a rest period of uh, less than eight hours that is the rest period violation so therefore the system creates an uh, alert that notifies you of the rest the period to support this scenario we have added the new valuation type the create time rec uh, uh, time this is another valuation type uh, which is added create time record okay 
so automatically you have added an options to run the evaluation type data group input groups okay to so enter the multiple uh, period rather than on the a uh, daily basis okay so this is another which they come with evaluation type so you can using that we can achieve this requirements and also they had given the uh, what i would say uh, steps and uh, so just if you follow these steps you can able to achieve it okay next one the rounding base for the grace period rounding okay so we have a new configuration option called the rounding base to the time rounding object the rounding base lets you configure its working times or rounded based on a scheduled working time or the flexi time bandwidth okay so recorded working time can be rounded to the start and end end time either the scheduled working time or the flexi time with we have introduced the rounding base to support the rounding uh, based on the flexi uh, time bandwidth okay so again this is also if you come to bottom probably is in a uh, customer configuration if you want to make it round uh, based on the as customer requirement so sap is introduced the rounding base here you can have the some values so that you can select it and you can do if you see the uh, previous uh, object rounding base of the work schedule information so we didn't have that uh, um, what i would say uh, option so here we have the option of the rounding base so you can just select the values as per your customer requirement okay so next one is the uh, reporting uh, time events for the clock in and clock out so initially in the people story it was so not supporting so from going forward uh, now this clock in and clock out details also reports in the people story simple okay uh, so you can now use the reporting features to create the reports for the time event generated in the clock in and clock out system you can view the time event details for the employee who are the clock time users and who have recorded the time their time event using the terminal web mobile or manually the date range for the generating the reports can be daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. Administrators and managers can view the reports the only of those employees who are assigned to them. It means that it says for the RBP permission, I think they can uh, you know, see it. They cannot see it any other employee details. Additionally, you can also add it other the tables like a user information, job information, so on when generating the reports. This allows you to display the fields relevant to type events like uh, display name, employee, managers of employee, location. Along with this data, you found other uh, information also. We can club and we can generate it. Okay, you can see that what are the data you can it will support time event date. You can define the date range for which you want to view the report. For example, one month, the pairing status. So based on the pairing the status of uh, time events, for example, the time events that or not the paid for a week and a creation source okay the resource for the manually so some of the things they have given so just you can uh, select those fields as well okay uh, again if you want to extract this one so you should have the uh, permission for the uh, create story reports then only you can extract it so now accessing the uh, manage clock in and clock out page from the latest home page so SAP has provided the deep link as a standard so creating your own custom tile okay you can create the tile and uh, you can uh, provide the link to the customers from the home page itself okay uh, so here we are given the uh, whatever the name just you can give it so administer manage system properties manage latest home page okay so you are already probably they would have provided you can in cases as a manage uh, this one you can copy that url paste it okay and you can restrict as for your requirement if you are already familiar with uh, how to create the manage uh, uh, what i would say tile so through the manage latest home page it's the same step just you need to provide this uh, url as a this one code this code should be the exactly the same it's in case sensitive okay so this is what we call as a tape link so next one is the word data service to the export time events of uh, the clock in and clock out so now uh, sap has uh, uh, has provided the privileges to 
okay uh, export the time event data using the word data view for whatsapp probably this i think uh, uh, coming to picture in case we are using the cpa and all okay so now with the sap uh, or or say uh, now i think uh, we are calling as an uh, uh, integration suit okay so the integration through the integration suit we can extract this one okay Uh, for that you should have the proper rbp permission so they're already provided the what kind of permission they should need, uh, have it export all time event with the uh, pagination export all time events with the filter export all uh, time events with the uh, sorting export all time events with the uh, selected uh, properties uh, if you come here we have introduced this eps to allow the customer and the partners to export the time event from the various purposes some of the scenarios are follows okay so uh so here they are given the some scenarios so for all this now we can use this one okay and uh, coming to this one uh last one time containers uh so this is the another uh, what i would say uh it's kind of uh, when you're creating the grouping so here they come up with a uh, time container type okay so probably this is uh, uh use for for any of the internal calculation purpose okay so in that case uh, we can use these two time containers okay the time containers containers the persist time evaluation result that are not used by the payroll okay before we introduce the time containers the only time evaluation result that were used by the payroll were the persisted however there are use cases for the persisting time validation result that are not used by the payroll for example when detecting the rest rule the violations in the timesheet period okay this is what they mentioned right in the rest rule if you come to the rest rule so here we can see that create time recording okay additional one uh, I, I, I mentioned right the create time records so this is what they are introduced okay time containers okay so you need to the pursue the start and end time of the shift within that the period to calculate the rest time between those shift you might also want to the pursue such start and end time for the reporting purposes okay so this is the additional uh, <coughs> the field which they are introduced in the time type group so and also that given the scenario for the rest tool so you can use it this way okay and again this is a uh, customer configured as for your requirement you can use it okay so these are some of the uh, additional features uh, sap introduced or enhanced in the h1 2023 okay so i think uh, this uh, high level information it will help you when you're working on the support or implementation project so just keep in mind okay